really just got a, a really kind of lucky and good run from qualifying. I had hair in my mouth the whole time. Hey, good morning. It is the first race of 2020 during these crazy times of the COVID lockdown. Indiana is easing its restrictions. So Newcastle has been allowed to race. It's definitely different. There's a lot of uh, procedures in place that the track is implemented that um, is, is good. It just makes things a little more, a little more difficult, but uh, everyone seems to be rolling with it and uh, just everyone's eager to get out and race. I know that's true for us. We were out here practicing yesterday, forgot to record, but uh, we were out here practicing and, and I felt, and so did Ben, we felt like we were as, as uh, fast as anyone. These carts are awesome. Um, I'm really happy with, with it. It's been, uh, it's been a nice change of pace. All right, it's race day here at Newcastle really doesn't get any better than this. I mean, you take a look around. Nice calm morning. It's not overly windy and we've been dealing with that. It rained like crazy through the night, so we're going to have to let the track dry out, but you get your coffee, you got your cigar fired up. It's race day. You've got new carts, you've got strong engines, and two of the three of us are good drivers. So we'll see what we can do here. Gonna have some fun today. Prep work continues here. Got Ben the wrong side. putting his tires on the wrong side. Ben, how you feel today? Uh, feel good. I don't know. I need to work on my hairpins. I know that much. I was, I was murdering him in the hairpins. Yeah. Nerd! 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 Dude, my feet! My feet had a bunch of water in it. For those of you that couldn't hear that, he said his seat had a bunch of water in it. This is the, uh, the sportsman in master's class. Normally I'd be out there tearing it up with Casey and uh, Rob and the boys, but no dice today. Went out on top, banned from uh, participating in the sportsman class now, so that's tough, but uh, it is what it is. Not too bad. I, I'm glad I, I can't be out there. That means, that means that I won, so there's Casey, Rob, and our, our teammate, QG3 teammate, Ian out there. Ben, how do you feel about your chances of a win today? You're running one class. It's a tough class. Yeah, there's a lot of good talent out there. I think I I was running with everybody for a lot of the day yesterday on a older motor, so I can only expect to be faster today on my good motor. I don't know, I, I feel good about it. Well, as good a chance as anyone? Yeah, probably. If I could get my mental capacity right, then yeah. But that's the only blocker in my way. It's not the speed or anything like that. You good. heard it here first, he feels good. All right, Dad, so you're about to qualify. First race of 2020 in a brand new Brill Art. Yep. What are your thoughts? Making a big difference? I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna take that beautiful beach right there. I'm gonna stick her firmly mid pad <laughs> We just have practices we've got the qualifying then we've got napping and then we've got
got the race. How long till we nap? It's going to be running into your dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for Jeopardy. <laughs> ben, what do we know? What do you know? Well, you tell me, what do you think I'm asking about? I, I don't want to get into the whole Carol Bassett thing again. <laughs> There's not enough evidence. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're saying it's not a it's not a question of how, it's it's still an if? Uh, she killed her Absolutely. husband. Absolutely. No. no. She killed no. him. Her husband's still alive. He's not even dead. Costa Rica? Yeah. My bad's meat grinder. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm septic mm -hmm. pump or no, septic tank. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, yeah. No. I'll tell you, I think he went to Costa Rica, wouldn't you? I mean, I'd get it. Well, I'm sure he was planning on it, yeah. I'm sure he was hopeful. Okay, so Dad's qualifying. Oh, What's your, what are you wanting? What are you predicting? Oh, Maddie, why do you ask me this question every time? For, your, want, for the predictability of the viewers. I want, I want my husband to have fun and stay safe. You can't see because I'm wearing a mask, but I mouthed exactly what she said. Because at this point, it's just, it's like it's rehearsed. But qualifying has begun. Woohoo! How'd you feel? I don't know. I mean, we got held up quite a bit, but. You good enough for pull? Did I get pull? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a little post-race wrap-up. I had a disappointing qualifying outing. It was my fault more than anything else. Just really had a better better car than what I qualified in. AC said there are probably more than 30 cars. No, I just got a line 31. Yeah, mom said, okay, 31. Yeah, I lost track after that. But you got 18. How do you know? Because they, they went and looked. Uh, they said you're oh, did loud they? Speaker, yeah. You made the loudspeaker. <laughs> I've got a top 20 awesome. driver, a top 5 card. <laughs> got off to the race, didn't get off to too bad a start. Kinda through some carnage and through through some mistakes of others, uh, had some opportunities I was able to capitalize on. Had had some people I trust to run with and was able to move up. I think I ended up 13th and so uh, wasn't that far back from some other carts so you know for the first race of the year it was good this cart definitely feels good uh, it's a great cart handles well and uh, you know the engine uh, we talked about that man it really felt strong today as well so we <laughs> the only missing ingredient was the driver we had uh, we had a better better cart engine combination than a 13th place finish but you know what the driver 13th was about as good as I could have done today so you know what we're gonna go onward and upward we're getting a little bit better you're never too old to get better I think um, and so we're just gonna keep trying to work off uh, the millions of rough edges I've got and we'll see where we go from there it was a great start having a lot of fun watching the boys they're having some success it's just good to be outside again and 
and having some fun. All right, guys, so the CIK race just ended. A lot of emotions right now, a lot of thinking what I could have done, different things. Um, I also want to go ahead and take this moment to say we found out on grid that the camera was dead. I think Maddie actually pressed the button, it lit up, and then it died. It had the red thing, it did, but now it doesn't. So perhaps the greatest race of the season, I know it's only the first race, but perhaps the greatest just back and forth race of the season not caught on camera. Uh, and I apologize for that because it was a heck of a race. So I started in first. Oh, God. oh crap already, come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Nice, Ben. Just pull out right in front of him, dude. Where's Casey in that mess? And going into the first turn, me and the guy next to the uh, guy starting outside pull, we actually, our tires rubbed up against each other. And I don't, I don't know who's at fault, but I want to say it might have been me because I, in, in anticipation for the first turn, I may have just slid up a little bit too far and gotten into his tires. Anyway, we both got a little unsettled. I still led like the first lap or two. Um, then I was in second and then I was in like, I got a little bit, I got bumped a little bit in a turn, sent me a little bit fritzy. And it was a train, man. There were the first like 10 guys, it was just all just a train. I fell back to like seventh and eighth. And at one point, I think it was in ninth or 10th. Like I just fell back a ways and then it was go time and we started moving back up. And guys were just making, you know, last couple laps, guys were making crazy moves. They were, as you'd expect on a, especially a track like this where it's it's pretty simple, straightforward. It's just a drafting track. Guys are making moves into, into fast corners and getting taken out in the process and stuff. Um, me and Superfan Keegan, uh, we hooked up and I think we were like fifth and sixth and we, all of a sudden we're third and fourth and first and second coming out of the hairpin got into a big old tangle. And now Keegan and I had a heck of a run anyway. So even with that, Keegan still may have won, but I wouldn't have gotten second, which is ultimately where I finished. Last lap. Coming down for the stretch. Come on, Benji. Benji, get it up. Come on. Pull in front of him. Oh, did you get second? But it was a great race. Great start to the KRA season. Winning pull. Um, and then coming in second, so heck of a job to Keegan, man. Congrats! I know you'll be watching this. Um, wearing our shirt. That yeah, yeah, he was. He was, he was wearing a Star Racing shirt. So it's clearly some horsepower there. If you guys are interested in more horsepower, um, I'm not going to guarantee first place finishes, but I'm just saying the only person to wear one today did win. He beat me, but he's a Star Racing. You know, he's supporter. Part of the team. Yeah. We have seen battle. Me and this cart have seen battle. Cik. My first of two races is done. I started eight. That was probably like the craziest back and forth race. I've been in in a long time. It was just constant. And the old girl's showing it right now. I mean, it was, it was intense.
I was up as high as fourth and I was running fourth coming into the uh, uh, last couple laps and got the bad end of a deal and, and one of the hairpins. Lost all my momentum, saw a train of guys go by me. And so uh, I ended up finishing, I, I haven't seen it, but eighth, maybe ninth. That was a good race. It was a bummer, but only a slight bummer because it was fun. I had pace and uh, it was a good time. We'll do one more and hopefully I can bring home the gold medal in that one. That looked like a fun race. It was, some, it was yeah. pretty aggressive. That, that was. was. That was my second of two races not not real good um yeah i mean it just the cart felt as good as it did in the, the first race A lot of a lot of movement and I just didn't benefit from it Coming into turn three, uh, I was fourth and uh, just got unsettled by the cart in front. Um, don't really know what happened, but somehow it affected me. Got on the, got into him. That was really the last of it because uh, that broke the draft and then the last couple laps a guy caught up to me. So I just pushed him hard and uh, running good times and coming in the last lap I made that move. finished fourth it's if you hear it in my voice it's disappointing because this I I had it mm -hmm. I this cart is just awesome it's just just wasn't the day jewelry no gold but uh second and pull so that is what it is is the s and chassis silent or do you say chassis like it, it's just a real soft s or is it completely chassis like c h a s s E E E E E like chassis or like chassis. Nobody says chassis, but chassis. 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 You say it enough, it sounds weird, right? Chassis. And that's a wrap. Back home, everything uh, unloaded and, and shoved in its proper spot. Um, great week in a race, man. Just so great to to finish well in the first points points race of the year. Um, second in CIK was phenomenal. Again, congratulations, Keegan. Heck of a job, man. If it wasn't me, I'm glad it was you. Don't tell Casey that. Um, speaking of Casey, though, he had a couple couple good runs. Lost the draft in a sportsman race, but, man, he was quick in CIK. Ran right with the best of us. Um, and then Dad, man, racy. He, he, the 13th finish doesn't 
doesn't quite do him justice to the speed and the pace he had, and I think he's going to just keep growing, and I, I fully expect him to finish in the top five in at least one race this year, so that's a bold, bold statement that I'm going to stay with it. Um, but until next time, guys, like, share, and subscribe. We'll probably be off for a few weeks, um, but we'll keep making content for you guys and uh, do what we do.